Hello YouTube, I'm back with the long haul, episode 32. We're, we're coming up on daytime here and I've finished up the skeleton of the ramp at least. As you can see, my mini bike's up here, no I didn't carry it up. I'm just grabbing some stuff here with, with my stuff here, you know, just grabbing it up and make sure I have at least a, uh, I've just been getting ready for Trader Trip now, past couple of in-game hours. I'm just working to make sure I have it all sorted out, so. Um, yeah, just, just putting some stuff together. I'm going to sell off, hopefully, most of these pistols. Will... I'm not talking about the incomplete ones. I'm talking about full ones. I'll sell for about... Well, 1100 bucks, all things considered. If need be, if I'm absolutely... If I'm absolutely desperate for it, like, uh, for the parts and everything like that, well... Desperate for money, I'll even sell off the old, uh... This old 250 hunting rifle, so... If push comes to, if push comes to shove, I will absolutely sell it. Well, I'm hoping I don't have to, even though I'll be uh, trading over for a snipe for a sniper rifle. Uh, character's getting hungry. Don't mind that. But um, you're really hoping for uh, some good stuff. Well, hoping we can get there. So it is only about 4:30 in the morning, so we have to we have to get. I do have to get over to the trader, but we don't. We uh, trader wreck's not going to be open just yet. But I have won that sniper rifle really badly, so yeah. Um, just take a look at inventory here, just to make make hundred percent sure. Just being aware of everything. If I, I'll even take these, but just to be. Just to make it, just to make absolutely sure, we got 4,500 dukes. I basically need another 10,000. But without forgetting to show it, uh, so yeah, I've actually gotten the mini bike. Managed to get the mini bike up here. It took a little bit to, took a, you know, basically a whole in-game day to just get the skeleton built up. It's a, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Don't mind my character being thirsty and hungry. I'll get him taken care of in just a little bit, but as you can see, I've gotten a, I've gotten the old, uh, gotten the ramp built up. I am very happy to have it, have a, uh, you know, basically a zombie, zombie proof entrance and all this. <laughs> that was a little bit, that was a little bit hairy, but you can see I can make it just fine, so, well, um, still an in-game hour before Trey Rect opens, but I'm going to head over there and wait for him to open if I'm early, and, uh, I'll see, you, and then we'll, we'll see if I have enough to sell to Trey Rect. Well, YouTube, it is uh, basically time to have Trader Rect open. He'll be open here in just a couple of game minutes. Oh, that I'm just chopping a little bit of wood, waiting for it. Now. Alright, let's see if we have enough money to sell. Hopefully we have enough. Hi, Trader Rect. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? I don't know, are you? I mean, they're taking counterfeit money? Let's just sell this stuff off to him. Thousand. Got 2200. Oh, he's not interested in that. You won't take the puffer coat? Are you serious, Trader Act? No, he won't take the leather dusters. Take that, and we'll just sell you all that. Sell you that, and. Wow, you are really being stingy with me, Trader Rect. You are really being stingy. 
<sighs> he won't take that. Let's just sell off the whole stack of painkillers. Yes, he took that. Um, oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you I just want to see if he will away. take any of these pistol parts off me. Because sometimes, like, you can make sell off snappy. more parts to him, so... He'll take that. He'll take that. I would not like to sell those off if possible. I think it's the barrel he won't take, so... Shit, man. That barrel's a good that one, good. so I don't want to... I don't want to sell it off. Ah, uh, Traitor can... Can be quiet for a while. Um... I don't think he'll take more pistol parts, but oh, let's just see if we'll if he'll take them for a couple hundred more bucks. I know I'm kind of scraping it. It's like things for sale, even to an idiot like you. He'll he'll even take the pistol parts. We're at fourteen thousand fifty-five. We're we're at fourteen thousand three hundred twelve. Oh boy, trade wreck you were being stingy here. Um, can I sell you some wood? Can I sell you some wood? Because it, it it's easy. Shit, uh, eight. Man, I treat you that Only good. sells for 87 bucks. Um, I really don't want to sell this off here, YouTube. Let's just... Let's see if he takes any more pistol parts in the form of... Like, better frame or parts and all this, so... Because he only has a limit of, of like three cells per day, like well three cells per cycle. Uh, will you take any? Will you take any of these? Two hundred thirty. Okay, we have enough. We have enough, I believe. Yes, we do. We are able to afford the sniper rifle. Usually it's a very big purchase like that. And don't mind Trey Wrecked. He's just being Trey Wrecked. But there you go. The sniper rifle in YouTube. I am so happy to have it. That is a very nice little firepower upgrade for... It's like $14,000 and then... But... That's not all for it. I have a much better receiver. So that means I can upgrade the sniper rifle to be way better. It's like I checked the receiver on it and and well, it's a it's like a level 28. It's a it's one of those. It's kind of a pile pile of junk a little bit. Like, but mission accomplished. And and I want to remind you folks though on a. Uh, if you if you uh, make it this far into the video and uh, you know, you enjoy what you're watching, please do like uh, like the video, give uh, subscribe because it helps the videos to reach out more and it helps uh, a small channel like mine grow. And I would really appreciate it more than anything. We're coming up on the old uh, and if you want to watch the series uh, live on, well, watch the series live and chat with me, you can. You can do it on Twitch. I provide a link with uh, my videos now to my Twitch channel. That way you can get an idea of my schedules. Uh, so, but we're coming down here into the old, into the old base again. You know, using that lovely new sniper. You know, well, using that lovely new uh, ramp. Still have some work to do on it, but we'll get it. But that'll be for another time. Um, not the food box. I have this partial sniper rifle. And as you can see, the, the receiver is just not that good on it. But, we do have the another barrel and receiver for it. And we're, I'm going to show this a little bit of combining for you. 419, it, it's still an upgrade either way. And then 574 to a 319 make a a 589. So we have pretty close to a a brand new barrel on this sniper rifle. Um, we'll grab that, and this is gonna be just a really excellent upgrade for it. 
Level 434. I think it was like a level 334 before. But yeah, I'm really excited to see see this thing come to fruition. It's uh, I like one of those. It's like the hunting rifle's great, but it needs a but the sniper rifle does a little bit less damage. Like hunting rifle does like the single most like for round for round it does the single most damage in the game. But it does. But when you compare it to the sniper rifle. Sniper Rifle has that semi-auto capability. Yeah, that's a that's a little mission accomplished. I was thinking it'd probably be multiple days before we start doing that stuff. Like we get that sniper rifle, and maybe even probably be, you know, you know, we'd have to wait till Trader Restock Day. Well, we would not get it before Trader Restock. But I'm thinking. You know, in celebration of the sniper rifle and having a, you know, having it all uh, a nice and beautiful and pretty. I'm gonna trick and I'm gonna take a trip over to the old uh, uh, what do you call it, the Dorler Town. We haven't been up there in a while, so I figured it could at least do for a uh, for an outing of outing of looting, you. Know, can always use it. So yeah, give me a little bit while I cook up some food just so I don't starve on the way up. I do have four grilled meat, but I need a little bit extra. So I will see. I will meet you at the northern town, folks. Well, YouTube, I am coming up to the to the northern town. I'm just going through the winter biome, uh, just making a little beeline. I took a. I got my. Uh, food cooked up for this little journey just in case I get hungry. Uh, we're just gonna have a few POIs. I was thinking to myself, maybe you should hit go see Trader Jimmy. See if he's got anything on offer. Which wouldn't be a horrible idea. Which I haven't decided if I want to or not. Because I'm like, if he has something expensive, like, you know. I could go for, I could do another kind of just super trader, super trader run, you know, just, um, we're not really too pressed for horde time, uh, it's on day 35, so we still have a little bit, um, you know what, we're gonna go check Trader Jimmy, see what he's got, see what he's got for us, he's not too far out of town, and, uh, and if he's got anything interesting, you never know. We might we might do a little of a whole bit of a uh, I guess you could say sleepover in this town. And try to and try to find uh, try to get his goods. It's like it had to be something really interesting for me though, because it either had to be a piece of the AK, like it had it had to be that, or it would have to be. A flat out AK. And uh maybe a or it had to be like one of the pieces of the nail gun I don't have or possibly even like something to the auger. Like it had to be really something that would make me want to just stay overnight for the I I might stay overnight in this town anyways just to kinda take a little bit more yeah you know, some a little bit of time actually kind of looting it, because, like, the last couple times, like, you know, hit up the Shaga Messiah and the old, uh, and, um, uh, popping pills, you know, and the working stuff, so, you know, did that the first time, and then hit up some of the wealthy homes, too, for some loot, but, especially if Trader Jamie's got something interesting, you never know, like, might have another little, uh, run over and buy. So with the traders, it's just kind of roll the dice. We should be coming up here pretty quickly on his compound. Um, I, I can see his icon now. Jimmy, are you here? Like, you should be over the, just over the hill. I'm hoping he's somewhere here pretty quick. Um, longer drive over to Jimmy's than I thought. I think we have many bikes quick. There he is. There's his, there's his compound. 
I did uh, get my steel uh, tools and my spike, well, I got my fire axe and pickaxe so fully repaired, like, and upgraded a little bit. And I did uh, get a new spike club. Jimmy! Hello! Let me guess, you need to buy something. Maybe if you have what I'm looking for. Uh, we'll just check his regular stock here. He has a nice mining helmet. I don't know why I brought my resources for my concrete over here. Some nice magnum parts. I do love me a good 44 magnum. Mechanical parts, maybe. Oh, he's got some nice stuff. What you got in your stash? Flat out auger for 20k. I don't know, maybe. Possibly, I don't. Not really tickling me too much, but got some got some military boots that are pretty nice. I could I could definitely use an upgrade in the old armor department. That's really about it for his secret stash. I mean, it'd be seven and a half grand. I could I could get that. You don't Was... buy something next time. I'll shoot you. Oh uh, yeah, tuck. You're all talk to Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, uh, if we say to like 12 grand, we could get a get a nice uh, get a nice mining helmet that you know for the old brain bucket, which could be pretty nice. Uh, I know I can make my own mining helmets, but uh, you never know. But yeah, meet you in a second and, uh, at the northern t back of the door of town on YouTube. Here we are, back in back in the northern town. Well, coming up on it, at least. We're just checking this place out, and you know, I was thinking to myself, uh, having, you know, seeing those military boots would be really nice, and uh, it's like checking the quality of my iron boots. It's like I have a like my iron boots are only level 99. And it's like. It's just kind of one of those that's like iron smith. Well, armor smithing is kind of a pain to pain to take a uh, a look. Well, you know, take care of. It's like um, can't like really craft that craft it all that quick. And I'm like that's why I'm looking at like you know just buying stuff from the trader. I completely forgot about this little stash. Rocket launcher receiver. I mean, there's some extra ammunition for the shotgun that I completely forgot about. There's, there's some stuff in here. Yeah, I remembered staying in this like, uh, like weeks ago in game, and well, uh, I figured we should at least check the, the shotgun messiah. Oh, was that Curly? Yep, that's old Curly. Um. I thought that was maybe a screamer, but come here, come here. Sorry, guys. Like, oop, popped to uh, Mister. So there we go. Penny's done. And would you look at that? Gun stores uh, over for business once again. They got their his shipment back in. Um, well. Taking care of Penny there. Let's take a look at the uh, loot. See what we got. Oh, uh, leather glove schematic. Not much in there. Shotgun parts. That's pretty nice. And then more paper. I'll just throw that out. I'm thinking to myself, I want to purchase it and purchase those military boots at least. You know, I'm like the mining help is not that big of a deal. Sniper rifle stock. I'll at least keep that from merging. Can I at least sell that sawed-off shotgun barrel? Um... Yeah, you never know. Ah, that door is unlocked. Oh, well, no biggie. We'll read that schematic. Sink, you got anything? Nothing really there. Some oil, that's some, that's nice to see. Don't come across that every day. And... We got the toilets. Turds. More turds. And a challenge. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Apparently I have that already read. Yeah. 
and some green alcohol, but back to the gun store boxes. Alright, check that one. Hunting rifle barrel. And then we got a hunting rifle stock. Another hunting rifle stock, which I'll just scrap down for, for wood. I don't really care about that. Would you look at that? Another hunting rifle. We'll probably sell that off in, you know, in attempts to try to get a, a nice... Try to get a nice hunting rifle. We'll get a nice uh, set of uh, military boots. We'll just throw those shotgun parts together, and then we'll not throw the stock and barrel together for that hunting rifle. Unfortunately, we can't loot the safe because I broke it. That was uh, a little patience, I always say, once upon a time. Rocket launcher parts, what does this sell for? 476. You sell for like 139. I'll at least put that together with the, the shotgun. Oh, so close to one shot in the wood layer on that. Um, but we'll just throw that together with the with the rest of the shotgun parts, and we'll just check up here for the book bag and Charlie Boy. We got a nice little hunting rifle on stock again, and Charlie, what you got for me? One shotgun shell and some 44 magnum parts, which are not that great. We'll just scrap those down. It's kind of one of those they don't do much for me. Yeah, you can use them, re use them to repair a little bit, but it's like... Oh, would you look at that? One, one lowly little duke. Would you look at that? Yeah, not... Yeah, you know, kind of the usual loot in the Shaggy Messiah. We'll just check here for... There's another schematic. It's for the uh, leather hood. We already know all those something by now. We got can of salmon, which I'll just scrap down. Extra jars, more paper. Might keep that just to sell it. You got any dukes? Eighteen dukes. Oh, I'm so lucky. But yeah, um, another place I want to loot though, since we're since I want to try to go for those, um, um military boots at least, is uh, we're gonna go check out the old... We're gonna go check out the working stuff tools at least to make sure that I'm not missing out on any... missing out on any potential tools that I might be... might be missing, you know, like... I don't know, might find... A, I looked at the nail gun and it's like... I am missing the... The frame and the rechargeable battery for it. Now that I say that, the game probably won't won't give it to me. We'll just take care of Penny here, and we'll just we'll just make sure we take care of the old riff raft. Nancy the nurse is done, and he's gone. We got Bob rolling up, and he's gone. Yeah, they're and they're getting smacked around nice and happily. So before I forget get it, anything. I just wanted to take just take that uh, 1762 round, because like, anytime you find a gun it, you find them, um, when you find those, you get you get a free ammunition out of it, so. Well, ask you shall receive. I found the I found the nail gun the nail gun frame. I'm not, I'm not cross my fingers or anything here. Well, Maybe I should, but you never maybe you never know. Maybe I'll get the I might actually wind up getting the uh getting the uh the rechargeable battery. Like I say, I'm not holding my breath for it. Fingers crossed though, we might have it. Was just listening out for some zombies, you know. They sound like they're in the prison. Um more paper we can sell. Girding ho, we got Nails we can just scrap down. Don't really need those. Um, now that was the one that gave me the nail gun frame. What you got? Gardening hose. Uh, plenty. They've. I don't know if the game's trying to tell me something. Oh, nerd. Uh, nurse. Thank you. And nothing in that. Nail gun receiver. 
I mean, I appreciate the sentiment in game. Mechanical parts, I'll take those. Probably need those at some point. And we got another kind of door. We got a kind of a junk battery. Um, we don't need three leather. That I can just stay there. Oh, I completely forgot about you. This is from the from the previous loot, like previous uh, little looting session that we did. Hang on. Sorry about that, Auger Blade. Um, and you had nothing in both of those. What do you got for me? Shotgun receiver and schematic with a pistol and grip. Yeah, not not the most I, as you can see. Really not that great, but I've just realized with that sniper rifle stock, you know, sniper rifle stocks are our most our weakest link to our to our sniper rifle, so anything that's kind of anything that's over 200, well, anything will help that a little bit, so we'll just throw those in there, and good loot so far out of the old uh, out of this town here, so and I I believe if I I can actually make a new uh, make a new auger blade out of that, so because uh, the auger and chainsaw schematics actually do give you a fair. Well, they. I believe it's like they need the blade to. You need to find a blade in order to craft a new blade. But it's like it. You kind of basically. I guess you could explain it as um, you're you're resharpening the blade. I'm thinking though. I don't believe I've raided the prison in this town. I think it'd be a good little loot, so I'm gonna go break into the prison and you know, get into the safes and and you know, we'll have a little we'll have a little looting spree in here. So give me a second and I'll I'll have those broken. Well you two have already broken into the safes or anything, let's check what we got. Pistol barrel, hunting rifle barrel and the gun safe, we got an iron layer schematic, we'll just uh, search that up. Oh, well would you look at that? Another sniper rifle. That's, <laughs> that's the game just being, uh, <laughs> telling me it's a way of, uh, that's the game's way of telling me, oh, you just bought a sniper rifle today, yeah, we'll give, we'll give you that, um, we'll give you that for you. I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm really happy with my my level 434 sniper rifle. You know, glad to have it. But hey, that means upgrades to the upgrades to the sniper rifle itself once I get back. I was not expecting that. But then again, I said this before and I'll say it again. This game likes to be a troll to me. It's like, it, this is kind of how the Seven Days is. It's not even just me, it's like, I remember... If you, if people watched a Woodle before, the, uh, he, he's, he said, too, it's like, this game is basically one giant troll. I'm gonna grab the spotlights, too, just to make absolutely sure. They're, they're basically just sitting there for the take-in, and I can one-shot with a pickaxe, so. But uh, he says it's like basically as soon as you, it's either as soon as you get, you get the, uh, you get, you get the item you're looking for, like, like how this game basically acts is like, it'll be like, oh, you're one this item, this specific item for uh, forever, and you, like you've been one this, you want this item? No, we'll take it from you. No, no, no. It's like, well, we'll make it the hardest item ever to get for you. Hey, look, some shotgun shells. Some steel arrows, but we'll scrap those down for iron. And, well, yeah, this... And it's like, basically, once you find the item, the game will just basically... Kind of as a method of trolling, will just be like... Oh, yeah, since you have this item now, we'll just give you one of everything. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll just give you, like, give it to you tenfold. It's just, it may seem unusual and may seem like I'm 
not you know like I'm I'm making stories up. No, it's like this is just how the game is. It's like I've experienced it multiple times. It's just kind of like if you watch these things, like you know, you probably see that like you know, it'll probably I'm sure it'll, it's happened at least at least once in our time playing on that world. It's it's just kind of the nature of that game. It's it likes to be a troll. Um, I did have one more safe in here to loot. Take care of Charlie. I'll take care of his uh, half brother there. And I also forgot to take and search that safe. Yeah, not a very good shotgun barrel. But you know, it's a. It's just kind of how the game is. And we got one more corpse to search up here. Oh, magnet frame. I'll take it. Yeah, at least it. See stuff like that, like like this. It's like if it's mostly assembled, well, mostly there in terms of durability. I'll gladly take it for for some. Uh, take it back home for you know, like a little bit of quality increase on the Magnum. It's just that when the parts are not very good and you know they're kind of a, a meh, they just kind of really. They're just kind of... It's one of those parts of, like... I don't know why I crafted that. But, um... You know, it's just kind of a... It's kind of junk. You... It's really dumb, and it's like, uh... Well, like, when parts like that are, like, mostly broken, unless it's, like, a really high-level part, and, like, you have a really low-level part, it just isn't worth it. Like, that... Like, because really, like... If your low level part is like mostly, you know, basically full durability, it'll give you a lot more um, stuff to look at, you know. But it's just one of those that's like, if you have two, like, you're basically just repairing durability and it's like, use low level parts that are like mostly repaired to, you know, basically just get extra durability. We're gonna raid one more house here just to. Kind of finish out the day, and you know we're gonna stay over night for that old uh, for to try to get those good old um, get that good old what do you call it uh, military boots. I'll just you know check enough of these, I'd probably find you know maybe a cover coat or something to sell. Shotgun receiver, pistol parts, and shotgun long barrel. I'll just scrap that down and. I'll check these to just see if there's anything good. Got paper. Um. We'll just do sink. And well, there's not much in the old bathroom, but I believe in here there's a safe. I'll just check that really quick, but. Oh, hi! Get off! We gotta eliminate some of the zombies here at least, yeah. Otherwise, they're just gonna give me more trouble. Go away. There you go. Mikey, I see you're being a ladies man. Good to see you, buddy. Gotta deal with your girlfriend, though. There we go. Level 105. We got 25 skill points to spend. I don't really know what to spend them on. Uh, come over here. Come on. There you go. Ah, uh, we got a little curly. We'll just take care of him really quickly. Um, we'll even take care of old Bobby Boy here. He wants to. He wants to have war with me, so I'll gladly oblige to him. There we go. He's even mind blown by my conversation with him. All right. Which just you just got a stupid little nail in there. Um. More oil, I'll actually take that. Oh, sounds like we got more company. No, oh, it's just Psycho Steve. Come here. There you go. Take your looking, buddy. Alright, I think there might be a gun safe in here. Let's just check, uh, check it out. Yes, there is. Let's see if there's anything useful. I know it's getting up to nighttime, YouTube, but... You know, figure if it's a longer episode, that's a longer episode. 
Ah, sometimes it's nice to do that. Gun safe, what you got? You got hunting rifle perch, shotgun perch, and barrel. And then you got pistol perch. Um, not, not really the best uh, there, but it's something. We got with some water and grain alcohol out of there. Well, what do you have for me? A flashlight, which I could sell for 150 bucks. Another magnum frame and some extra ammunition. Um, yeah. We're getting since we're getting close to nighttime and you know while I take out this crawler, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna stay in town overnight and we're gonna see if we can get if I can get me a nice set of military boots. So I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day and take care.